Excellence Academy. For today, we're looking at the second method of integration known as integration by the method of substitution. The idea is this. Some integration cannot be done using the given um, integral variable. Hence, the integral variable must be changed to a suitable integral variable for the integration to be done. Example, if I'm asked to evaluate this, let's say I'm asked to evaluate the integral of, um, let's say, 8x into 3x squared minus 7dx, or let's say this is the power um, 19dx. If I'm asked to um, integrate this, yeah, yes, I can expand it to about 19, but that would be too way too large. So for this case, what I do is this. I will use a single alphabet to represent all of this. So I will now say, let's, I'm taking the alphabet to be U. So let U be equal to 3x squared minus 7. Before this, for this now, you can't say 19 plus 1 all over 19 plus 1. Um, that would be a big loss. That's not correct. So I can't use general method here. I can't use general method here. So in that case now, I'll call this u. Um, u being equal to 3x squared minus 7. Next up, I will differentiate. If I differentiate u with respect to x, I'm having du over the x being equal to 2 times 3 is 6. So that gives you 6x. Of course, 2 minus 1 is 1. Differentiate a constant gives you 0, so I'm having 6x there. Next up, I'll move the x over here, and I'll move the u here. The idea here is to make the x subject of the formula. And the simple idea is just simply swap these two. If I swap these, I'll have that the x goes this way, 6x comes this way. So I'm having the u all over 6x is equal to the x. I simply swap these two. Hence, if this is true now, substituting, Substituting, what I have is this. I have that the integral of 8x into 3x squared minus 7 all over 19 dx is now equal to, this becomes the integral of 8x. We said uh, 3x squared minus 7 should be equal to u. So in place of, in place of 3x squared minus 7, I'll put u, and don't forget, this was raised to power 19 from the question, so it comes u to power 19. Alright, so all of this is being represented by u. Next up, dot, we have the x. We said the x equals to du over 6x, so it gives you du all over 6x. If I write this out, so observe that what I've done is this, I've just substituted integral of 8x, integral of 8x, um, 3x squared minus 7, we said this is u, so I'm having u here. In the original question, this was u to power 19, so I'm having u to power 19 here, that's all of this to power 19. The x, as we have here, is du over 6x, so it became du over 6x. If I take this up now, I'm having this, it means that the integral of 8x dot u to power 19 dot do you all over 6x. Work on this now. x will cancel out x. It's off. 2 here gives you 3. 2 here gives you 4. So this is now equal to take out the constant term. Becomes integral all over. Integral of this is 4. Um, 4 u to the power 19. 4 u to the power 19. Yeah? 4 u to the power 19 all over 3. And then the u. Alright, so see why I want this up now. I move the 3 over here, and I'm having this. So next up here, um, this is now, or this can be written as the integral of 4 all over 3 u to the power 19 dot du. I can take up take the constant this way, and I'm having this. The next case now, we take the constant then outside the integral sign. So it gives 4 all over 3 integral of u to the power 19 dot du. This now looks like a problem of um, 
general method as we did in the last class. So this will now be um, equal to, if I work on this using the general method, becomes 4 over 3. We said for general method, simply add 1 to this, so it becomes u into 19 plus 1 gives 20 all over 20. This, of course, plus c, a constant of integration. So this will now be equal to um, simplifying terms here. 4 here gives you 1, 4 here gives you 5. So this becomes u to power 20, u to power 20, all over 3 times 5 is 15, then finally plus c. So I have this term here. Finally, I will now substitute the value of u back into this equation. So, but we said u is equal to this one here. Yeah? 3x squared plus, okay, minus 7. So hence, my final answer is u, which is 3x squared minus 7. I'm having 3x squared minus 7. u to power 20 to power 20 all over 15. This one here, yeah, of course, plus c. So hence, this becomes the answer of the integration. So this is how we work on problems of integration using substitution method. We'll take another example on integration using substitution method. So let's say I'm asked to integrate um, 3x all over root 4 minus x. For this case too, I'll also use substitution method. So I'll say, for this, I'll say let u be equal to um, the square root of 4 minus x, such that if I square both sides, square both sides, this gives you u squared equal to, if I square this, the square will cancel out the square root side, so I'm having 4 minus x. Alright, for this case too, I also differentiate this using implicit concept. So if I, if, I, if I differentiate u squared using implicit method, I will get 2u and of course add, uh, uh, add the u all over the x is equal to differentiate 4 is a constant gives you 0, differentiate minus x gives you minus 1. So I'm having minus 1. So for here now, I will make the x subject of the formula. I will move the x over here, so this now becomes I'll be having, this is 2u, I'm having 2u, next up is the u. The u is equal to, the x goes here, becomes minus 1 times the x, that gives you minus the x. So I have this case. Now mind you, I'm looking for the value of the x, not minus the x. So hence, in this case here, I'll multiply both sides by minus 1. If I multiply this by minus 1, it becomes minus 2u the u is equal to multiply this by minus 1 of course the minus sign cancels out and left with the x so hence i have a value of the x let's now solve this now so therefore therefore I have that the integral of 3x all over root 4 minus x dx is now equal to Integral of this 3x, so I'm having 3x all over, we said root 4 minus x should be equal to u, so all over u dot dx, dx here is minus 2u du, so minus 2u dot du, this is the value of dx. In this case now, I can see that u will cancel out u, so I'm left with, this is now equal to the integral of 3x times minus 2 gives you minus 6x and then the u. So I'm integrating it for this case now. It's not proper or it's not possible to integrate um, x with respect to the u. So my case will be this. Before then, uh, I have to move the constant term outside the integral sign. So moving constant term outside the integral sign, minus 6 goes outside becomes minus 6 integral of x du. I have this case here. Right, so minus 6 goes outside integral sign becomes minus 6 integral of x du. I have this case. So I'm saying this. It's not proper to integrate x 
with respect to um, you. For here, the integral variable here is u, up a half to u here, and I'm having x. So it's not really possible or proper to integrate this this way. The idea will now be express x in terms of u. How do I do that? Recall from this point, recall that we said, or but we said that u squared is equal to 4 minus x. So let's get x now. What's x here? I'll move x over here becomes positive x. So I'm having um, x. Okay, let me write this here. I have x. This is now equal to move x over here becomes x um, plus u squared is equal to 4. Right, so I'm having positive x here. Alright, so let's get x. That means I'm moving this one over here. So it becomes x is equal to, so therefore I have x is equal to 4. 4, move u squared over here becomes minus u squared. So that is the value of x in terms of u. Hence, this, hence, if I have um, minus 6 integral of x with u, this will now be equal to minus 6 integral of x in value is 4 minus u squared. And of course, the u of z. I'm now having the integral variable as u. I'm having u here. So what does it mean? It means for this now, I can now uh, integrate. If I work on this now, this is now equal to uh, take minus 6 integral for the u. So I'm having minus 6 integral of 4 du. Next up, minus minus it gives you plus plus 6 integral. This one next, u squared and then du. Alright, so then minus 6, that's this, integral of 4 du. Integral of 4 du. Minus minus gives me plus 6 integral, 6 integral u squared and then du. Alright, so what we solve now? Um, for this case here, I'll have to move this constant term outside integral side. It becomes minus, if 4 goes up here, it becomes 6 times 4, which is minus 24 integral du plus 6 into, this gives you integral u squared du. If I work this out, if I work this out, this will now be equal to, from this, I'm having uh, minus 24. If I integrate the u, I get u plus 6 into, if I integrate this, it gives you u cube all over 3 from general method. So 2 plus 1 gives you 3, all over, of course, 3. Obviously, plus c, the constant of integration. Simplify this here, 3 here, 1, 3 here, 2. So hence, I'm having this as being equal to minus 24u plus 2 times u cube gives you 2 u cube, obviously plus c. So I have this step here. The next step will now be to substitute the value of, uh, of u here. From this, what do I have? Um, but u, first, but we said that u was equal to the square root of uh, 4 minus x. This was the value of u. So hence, if I substitute, substituting, this will now be equal to minus 24 into u, 24 square root of 4 minus x. So minus 24u plus plus um, 2 into u cubed. u is root 4 minus x. All cubed, finally, plus c. Alright, so this becomes my answer after integrating. So this is how you work on problems such as this, um, using the method of substitution.